It's right in front of your face. Oh, wait, that sounds like something that I know, though. Is it possible? Should we <laughs> guess the name? What? What is this? The, the nice thing is, is right off the puck, this sucker has a really nice, strong scent. Yeah. Am I get? Am I trying to guess what it is first or, get, or, or saying what I smell? Yo, Bravor, what's up, buddy? But you are just going to, for the sake of this, just try to first guess what it smells like. Does it remind you of anything? Do you smell anything in particular? Okay. Okay, I need it again. Um, this one smells like there's some spices to it so like kind of like a clover or something okay. kind of all right smell i feel like i'm not very good at this because but um i'm horrible with fragrance scents myself um like if i could liken it to food wait can i smell it again yeah because that's what i'm best at is like eating stuff to food yeah it smell it smells kind of like a bit not sweet but like a bit like you know like like an apple pie or something, you know, with like that cinnamon and the clove and That's stuff. Interesting. That's very interesting. Would you say it's like a lighter fragrance or like a dark earthy fragrance? Well, it's not earthy. Okay. <laughs> and to me, I don't yeah. know. Um, uh, is it the Bay Rum? No, no it's not. but you're, I know what kind of trek you're on. I, I kind of see where you're going with it though. Um, well, I would call it, um, I would call it um, Grandpa's Masculine Kitchen. <laughs> Grandpa's Masculine Kitchen. Is that I well, you it? can go ahead and open your eyes. We'll showcase what it is. Oh, Sandpiper. That's oh, what snap. But it's kind of funny because this is based off of the YSL uh, La Nuit de Lome. Oh, see, they wanted to know what was in the cup. You have to show it to me. I did. Oh, you did? Oh. Yeah, I did. Oh, this. what's in this cup? Is oh, that, that cup. It's, it's a Mai Tai. tai. Yeah, it's, I, I, I use the blue container so you can't really tell, but it's like it's red and it's... It's pretty. Anyway. <laughs> but YSL on the Wheat Del Home has kind of a spicy scent. It's kind of interesting that you mentioned that. And it is a little bit of a lighter scent. It's not dark or earthy. Yeah. It's it smells very really refreshing. Good. I like it's, that one. it's one of my favorites. And it's weird how as soon as you remove the lid on this soap, it just fills up that space. It's really nice to get a nice strong scent off the puck. And I could tell it was one I recognized. Though. Sterling's one of my favorites, and Sam Piper's one of her favorite scents. So, yeah. also let them know if, if you run across a scent that you're just like, oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> don't hesitate. Don't, I really? Yeah, okay. don't hesitate. Okay. Because we do honest reviews here, and if Tiff doesn't like it, I want to know what she thinks. Okay. Well, I like that one. That there So that go. one's Grandpa's Masculine Kitchen, a.k.a. Sandpiper. Grandpa's Masculine, Masculine Kitchen. <laughs> Sandpiper by Sterling Soap Company. <laughs> Rename it, y'all. <laughs> well, they do have one that's like um, Benjamin Franklin, and it smells, They in the description, they're like, it's it smells like, you know, old man's trousers or whatever. It's, it's kind of a I, but kind of a weird description. Didn't Ben Franklin like, like to be a nude? Didn't yes, he, like, he was a nudist, like I he think, was a occasionally. Nudist. Yeah, yeah, he called it an air bath. Kind of nasty. I mean, yes, imagining I mean. Ben Franklin. Uh, never mind. Anyways, guys, he might I'm going to go ahead and pull up the next one. He might have been cute. You don't know. Okay. So close your eyes, Ben. And here we go. I'm going to showcase to them what we're looking at here. Sounds like metal. Do you have it in front of? Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know that I know this one. I don't think you're going to know this one, but definitely tell us what you think. Um, this one smells very fresh. It smells, it's honestly, it smells like soap. Like it smells like soap smells. Um, Interesting. It's, it, but it's a very clean, it almost smells like, um, like, uh, what's the soap, the, the green soap? Oh, like the Irish. Yeah, Irish. Oh, dadgummit. Let me see if anyone mentioned it in the chat. No, no one's the same in the chat. Irish Spring. Irish Spring, yeah. Um, it kind of smells kind of like that. I, yeah, like a better Irish Spring. Not exactly like Irish Spring. It so smells, do it you smells like less, it? Yes. You do like it? Yes. Interesting. What would have you I, name Have it? I said I didn't like it before? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I would call it... Um, <laughs> Now I can only think of Irish Spring. Um, Irish Spring, but better. Sorry. Irish Spring, mm -hmm. but better. Yeah, or or how about this? How about let's do um, let's do Scottish River. How about that? 
Scottish River. Even though I know Ireland and Scotland are two different places. All right. <laughs> oh, someone quoted, do you smell it? That smell. <laughs> A kind of smelly <laughs> smell. <laughs> the smelly smell. It smells. <laughs> Nothing. We were just <laughs> quoting SpongeBob the other day. I love oh it. God, I it's love great. Mr. Krabs. Anyway, the Holy Black. Oh, it is gunpowder spice. She has actually told me she hates this no, scent. I like it though, actually. And she Wait, likes it. Well, I did. I, I did use the when you hated it. I was applying the beard oil, which is in gunpowder spice. So maybe it's slightly different there. But this. No, see, I like this though. Well, that is actually very close. It's supposed to be kind of an homage to. Old Spice. Oh. Smell the similarities? Yeah, yeah. So they're very similar, and I'm actually surprised she really liked this one. I might have to use it again, because I like Gunpowder and Spice a lot. The scent's fantastic, and I like Old Spice. Oh. You know, classic masculine fragrances. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Masculine man scents. Masculine man scents. Is there really such a thing as a masculine or feminine scent, or is it just a, a scent? You know, I had one guy, I was watching a review, and he said, you know, at first he was he was really nervous about trying, like, mm-hmm. floral scents, because he always found them to be very feminine. And someone close to him just said, you know what, if there's a scent that you like, and you embrace it enough, and you wear it, no one's going to be able to determine whether it's a feminine scent or a masculine scent. It's just a yeah, scent that I mean, you really, like. Yeah, I mean, really, it's probably true. Which, I can see that. There's maybe some that I could pick up on. Like, I'm, my mind's immediately reeling to, like, Bath and Body Works. And yeah. some of their scent fragrances that are catered to women. But, there's a possibility that I wouldn't catch on. Because then again, I have a wide selection of fragrances that I really like. And some of them are floral, some of them are lighter, some of them are darker, some of them are what I consider to be classic masculine, like John Frum, and musky scents, or like Old Spice. Very interesting stuff. By the way, everyone who's watching who doesn't, uh, my sister has popped in. She's the one that did the um, the, the SpongeBob quote. Um, that's oh, actually, yeah, that yeah. is her Instagram yeah. handle. I didn't even recognize that's my, it for Well, a she doesn't get on Instagram, kind of like me. I'm like, I'm only on Instagram to support you, and that's pretty much it. Right. Um, but that's actually my twin, my identical twin sister. I have an identical twin sister. We just found out we're identical uh, because it's simply in your DNA. Yeah. So that means that we have the exact same DNA. So cool. if I decide to murder Tim, I can just blame it on Brittany. Okay. She was jealous of our love. That escalated very quickly. I'm just kidding. And Yost is here. <laughs> Yo, Brian, buddy, what's up? How's it going, buddy? Buddy. Okay, okay. Sorry. Got a little excited. <laughs> We're drinking Mai Tais. Mai Tais. What's, what's the one no. I'm drinking? But anyways, Sask Shaver, I meant to say, hey, buddy, how's it going? But anyways, what did I walk into, right? Well, we are actually doing a scent test where I showcase a fragrance, whether that's an aftershave or a soap, to Tiff. She tries to guess what it, or she describes what she believes it smells like, and then she names that aftershave and soap. What she would name that soap or aftershave had it been her own creation. Yeah. And you missed it. We did Sandpiper by Sterling Soap, and we've also done the which Holy was, Black's Gunpowder and which Spice. I, which I, uh, the Sandpiper I did as... Grandpa's Masculine Kitchen. Grandpa, it, it, it's honestly, I would buy a soap <laughs> called Grandpa's Masculine Kitchen. I would 100% buy a soap. <laughs> Mikey, if you're still in the chat, probably not since we're a little crazy, but you should name one of your soaps Grandpa's you can, Masculine you take Kitchen. That. There's no, I have not copyrighted that at all. Oh, definitely. Her hair looks fabulous. I mean, I'm just kind of sitting here. I've needed a haircut for a good, like, two weeks. Well, no, I listen. Little, I like it long, but the thing is, is I don't mind if the sides are shorter. But I want, the, the, I want to see the curls. I want the curls. She likes my I hair know curly. I've curled my hair, but mine's straight and it's boring. Anyway, okay. So, anyway. Um, so on to the next one. Yes. Okay. And also, guys, feel free as we're doing this, and as I'm just trying to figure out what the heck the soaps are, feel free to ask us questions. Yeah, you can ask us whatever you Any want. Any question. But we'd be happy to answer them. So. No limitations. No I, limitations I at all. I kind of regret saying that. But anyway, I will get started, honey. Okay, close my eyes. Aha. All right. I hope it's a puppy. This one's going to be. I just lift up a dog. Puppy, butt in her puppy. face. 
All right. <laughs> I'm really curious to see what you're thinking about this one, because I, I think I know. This one smells like the classic Play-Doh that you, that you get when you're a kid. Play-Doh smell. Yeah, really dig your nose into that sucker. It smells like Play-Doh. That's interesting. I mean, it's not Very a bad smell. It, it might be wow. different when you put it on your face. Okay. Because I'm just smelling the thing. All right. Do you want another whiff of it? Yeah. I'm trying to... Because, I mean, what does Play-Doh smell like? It's... It's kind of curious, because I, when I think of Play-Doh, I always think of how it tastes. Isn't that weird? You ate it? Everybody ate Play-Doh. It's salty, it. man. I ate glue, though. Everybody ate Play-Doh. Okay. Um, I think Play-Doh is healthier no, this, to eat this than glue. This does smell good, though. It just The first initial bit, it just reminds me of Play-Doh. And to be fair, I think it was the Play-Doh that was, like, scented. So, right. like, that's we were at that stage. What would you name it? I would name it, like... Days of yesteryear, because it reminds me of Play-Doh. Okay. Days of yesteryear. <laughs> what is it? It is Declaration Grooming oh, Harmony. I like Harmony better, though. It actually uses bison tallow. It uses bison tallow, oh. goat's milk, and lanolin. So it's a harmonization of these various um, ingredients <laughs> coming together to make a great base. This base is incredible. However, kind of like her, where there's a weird initial smell... It, is it different it, when you lather it and you put it on there? When you lather it and you put it on, there's still that initial kind of weird scent in the background. It's not weird. I'm not but saying it, it's it weird. But it works Play its way out because yeah. it's very animalic. Like, it's it, there's a very Maybe animal that's what it is. kind is of Play-Doh scent Is Play-Doh made it. with animal products? I don't know. Now I, know, I kind of want to look up what Play-Doh is made of. I know, I know, I know glue is. Mm. Glue is made with hooves. Right. Oh, that's gross. And I ate it, so I didn't know that at first, but, you know. You ate a horse? No, I no. I think it's like cow's hooves. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's a cow on it. There's a cow on on. Oh, that's on, true. There is a Elmer's cow on Elmer's glue. glue. Yeah. I never, I, I never once put two and two together with that. That's that's pretty screwy. It's kind of kind of sick. I mean, you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make my macaroni, you I mean, know, it, arts and crafts, well, and you got like a a cow pouring out of your. Ugh. Well, no, but I mean, like a lot of barbecue places have a pig like with a fork and a knife, and yeah, you're but eating, the pig's eating delicious pork. and it smells well, okay, incredible. But I'm I'm taking liquidated cow hooves and putting them on my macaroni craft art. Okay, is that what you did? <laughs> right. Okay. All right. So. No one's asking any questions, though, and I'm sad. Next fragrance. Okay. And always keep in mind, guys, that you can ask questions in the chat, but don't Maybe. feel forced to do it. No, I'm forcing them. She kind of is. All right. Next one. Oh, let me show you guys what this is. That smells delightful. What's that? <laughs> what does that smell like? Mm. That oh, that smells like a vanilla Coke. Ooh, that's mm. interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, a I vanilla Coke float. I kind of mm. get that. Mm. Yes. What would you name it, babe? Fifties uh, diner because they did like vanilla Coke floats. I love it. You can open your eyes. Is this? this is Chella, and it's kind of a marzipan kind of scent, so you get some cherry oh, okay. and you get some yeah, almond, yeah, yeah. Okay. which is kind of funny because like Coke, Coke is, yeah, yeah, Coke has, and it does very much smell like it's got, because the almond can kind of, in my opinion, kind of remind me a little bit of vanilla mm -hmm. in certain yes, circumstances. Yes. yes. I love that. This is one of my favorite, oh, this wanna, is my favorite I'm classic gonna, soap. I'm going to, this is a, I want to shave with that. That smells delightful. Since it smells it smells delicious, but not like too sweet. Like you know how like some yeah. women's products are too right. sickly sweet. It's not. I'm actually curious to see because this is kind of an homage to this, and it's called uh, Chella Cool. Sarasota is on. Sarasota, Mikey, buddy. What's I love your there's new logo. Of, there's a lot of mics. Right? By the way, yeah, there's a ton of mics. I'm not gonna keep up. But I'll just call hey, Reyes, Mikey, what's up, Mike. DJ, buddy? How's it going? We are testing fragrances, and what we're actually doing. Is Tiff is smelling a fragrance and then she's telling me what she thinks of it and what she would name it had she come up with a fragrance herself. Kind of interesting. Of course, with her eyes closed so that way she can't tell what soap I'm using. But I am curious to see what you think of that. 
Yeah. Oh, that smells delightful. See. I would drink that. This is by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, mm, and it is mm. a take on shell. It's kind of an homage to this. Mm, Very yes, powerful. It does, it does smell different though, a little bit. It's 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 stronger. It's significantly yes. more concentrated, and it's mentholated. So there is a cooling effect in here, and you can kind of smell that. Um, in the actual fragrance itself, but I got this for free and I was very happy to get it. Oh, you got that for free? Actually, no, I traded for this. I thought I got this for free, but I actually traded for it. Anyways, let me go ahead, get rid of the cello. I love this stuff, can't say that enough. If you're looking to get in the hobby and you want to try out a soap that's super cheap, get cello. Won't, uh, don't you think that we should be able to invent like sharing smells? Yes. Because we can share music, we can, I mean, and taste well, that Wouldn't that be awesome? I mean, there's a guy on YouTube. He's Paul H. Films. You guys know him if you've, you're you big into the wet shaving community on YouTube. And he's always joking with the audience that we need smeller vision. Yeah, that's what Which would be awesome. That'd be great. But, all right. So, I'm going to show you guys this new scent. And Tiff. Okay, close my eyes. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. This is what this is one you like, clearly. Maybe. You said yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Um, now this one smells a lot more like earthy and like organic. This one it's got like a like a pine, not pine. It's but it's like it's like a it's like an outdoorsy smell, but like a plant smell. I'm describing it so well. Um, are you laughing? No. Oh. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know what the scent profiles are, but um, I would call it like enchanted forest. Holy. Shit! <laughs> what? All right, you can open your eyes. What is it called? Sunlit Forest. Are you Holy kidding me right now? Hell! I've never even that was that. so good. It's got scent notes of blood orange, cedar, tea, tree, and lavender. Oh heck yeah! Holy hell! That was so good. <laughs> that was so good. Was, well, I'm impressed, well, babe. This is one of my favorite soaps out there, and it's kind of interesting because the artisan only makes one soap. Doesn't make a matching aftershave for it. Paragon Shaving only makes this one soap, and then he makes a line of brushes, um, synthetics, Plasson type knots, and uh, badger knots. Um, but that was I like impressive. That, one. it smells very that was really, really, really good. Thank you, babe. I'm proud of you, babe. Like I said, one of my favorite scents, and I'm glad you got it. One of my favorite it's, soaps. It smells really good. It's fantastic. It's like multi seasonal use. I love mm -hmm. it. It smells fresh, but also, like, warm. Yeah, it's a very refreshing, crisp scent that reminds me of, like, I, I told the original artist that it reminded me of being outdoors in the mountains of Colorado. So. Sarasota said, America, fuck yeah. Do you like America, the, um, fuck yeah. yeah. Come on again to save the motherfucking day, yeah. If y'all have never seen um, Team America World Police, it's puppets, but it is so funny. It's so funny. It's the best. <laughs> All right. All right. Next. So, and next again, y'all, if you want to ask questions, don't be shy. Yeah, y'all. If there's anything you ever wanted to know about me or Tiff, feel free to ask. Yeah, you can even ask about me being a twin if you want. She likes to talk about being a twin. Well, I'm just my twins in the in the in the chat. So, oh she, hey, Carmen's in here. Oh, hey, Carmen. Carmen, what's up? Hey. <laughs> hey. How uh, how are the kids in their show? Did they do a good job? Yeah. She teaches at a theater that I'm familiar with, so anyway. Okay, oh, next one. I, okay. Mm. Yes. All right. On to the next scent. <laughs> Someone asked if your twin is single. Yeah, yes, she is. She is. She, I, I mean, she does look like me, but she's got um, brown hair. But she also is, she's, um, she likes being single, so. Yo, John, over at Latherhog, what's up? Am I smelling something? You okay. are. Where is it? It's right there. Okay, so this smells, and this is going to sound bad, but this smells like, uh, uh, okay, 
This you know me too well, bit, DJ. This smells a little bit like um, a certain dentist I went to. And it must have been... It smells like the dentist. And it must have been like the flavor of like the toothpaste or like whatever they had in there. So I'm not... It's not like a, a jab. Um, Interesting. I like it, but it just reminds me of that dentist. I can even remember they had like a Pac-Man. It's crazy how it's, the scent can take you back, but they even had a Pac-Man game that you played before you went in. Yeah. Um, or maybe it was his cologne. I don't know. It smells like that place, though. It smells good, though. Um, I would call it Pac-Man, though. <laughs> that reminds me of that. Interesting. You can go ahead and open your eyes. Okay, what is it? Oh, it's Bay Rum. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Okay, but what are the scent profiles on it, though? This, I mean, it's going to be pretty much just Bay Rum. I don't remember the kidding? specific scent profiles on here, but it's like spicy okay, that's, and... That's strong, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is... Their aftershades I'm are great. I'm wondering if they had like a... It almost smells a little bit like licorice. That strong smell, though. Yeah, I can And get I'm wondering that. if like they had a licorice like flavored like toothpaste or something. Because, you know, they have like those kid toothpaste that they use. Because yeah. this is like my pediatrician like dentist no i don't know mikey it's called, it's called gay, gay for, for men, men. <laughs> is that because you wear it a lot oh oh snap i have never been able to get you guys to shut up and <laughs> a holy i need to bring her on here for all my videos because this also, chat gets out of control <laughs> i'm also sassy because i'm drinking this is, so. this is very true this is very true all right so <laughs> i'm kind of curious to see what your thoughts are close your eyes Oh, of another one? Yes. Well, make sure you show them. Oh, I will. Okay. But I liked that one. I didn't mean for it, like, because it smelled like the bad dentist. Where is it? <laughs> it this one is kind of hard to smell. This one, this admittedly is a little bit more difficult. I can dab a little bit on my finger if you like. Yeah, do that, because I can't. I'm like right at the rim and I can't. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Gosh, that one smells similar, I'll admit. Yeah, um, but I think it smells a little sweeter. What is that one? You can open your eyes. It doesn't say on here, but this is Colonel Comp Bay Rum. Oh, okay. Look yeah. at that. But it's different. It is. And that's kind of the interesting thing about Bay Rums. That's why I encourage a lot of people to try different ones because everybody has their own take on Bay Rums. The same with barbershop scents. Everyone's got their own unique take on barbershop. Same with pipe tobacco. So you got these classic scents, but each one smells a little bit different. This is a little bit lighter. And admittedly, the Colonel Conk aftershaves aren't as strong. So if you're like about to head to bed or you just want to feel great after you you're done shaving but you don't want to a scent that particularly projects a lot critical comp's great and the bottles look fantastic oh is that the original bottle yeah that's the original it bottle it looks like uh like a harry potter potion bottle because normally it should have that little label on there but the label kind of came off so or it was coming off so i just peeled it off but that was kind of a tricky one because i was like i wonder if she's gonna pick up on the bay rum well, it smelled similar. Yeah, you so. said similar, so you, I, yeah. I gave you the points. You've maybe, been awarded five gold hamsters. Maybe my, maybe my, maybe my dentist was just drunk all the time, and he had that rum. That's. <laughs> it's kind of well. I mean, with your terrifying story about going no, to no, the no, dentist. No, no, no. This is my pediatrician. Okay. Like, he was. Okay. He was good. No, she has an absolutely horrifying. She doesn't like going to the dentist, so it just oh, kind of scares her a little bit. Oh, Leatherhog, ask me a question. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Oh, John, is that? Oh, yay! Yeah, it was well, awesome. be for me and for for you. I don't know. Favorite musical? Oh, Lord. Um, probably Phantom of the Opera because it means a lot to me. Do you know what my favorite musical is? West Side Story. It's West Side Story. Oh, she's always singing it. I love it. West Side Story, but I like the revival version where they actually speak Spanish. It's Cats so is good too. No. I have you ever seen Cats? Yeah, I've seen Cats. I, don't I like the music. I don't really care for well, like the performance. Well, my memory is okay, but like. <laughs> I grew up listening to Les Mis, listen, Cats, like and Andrew Family Lloyd the Opera, Weber, so yeah. it's fine. It's true, but I. I it's just, not one of my favorites. It's not one that I'm like, oh man, Cats. Let's go. Let's go watch Cats. Oh, Cats. Cats was. Oh, Sound of Music. 
Sound that music. was your first. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh. Um, well, I was actually the first one. I first musical I was ever in was Sound of Music, and my twin, who's oh. in the chat, we we switched scenes. So, um, cause she does music as well. She's got a lovely voice. Um, but, uh, we switched scenes as the same character, kind of like the full house thing with Mary Kate and Ashley. Right. So we switched. It was pretty awesome. And then we come out and do bows and everyone's like, there's two of them. No snap. Whatever. It's fine. Well, someone asked if we're Quentin Tarantino fans and I don't know about Tiff, but yes. I am. I've yes. loved Kill Bill is one of my Kill Bill is awesome. favorites. She's such a badass. Um, and all the characters, like, um, uh, Gogo Yubari, mm, Lord, Spice and Minx. Oh, hey, babe, <laughs> what's up? And, uh, of course, I love Inglorious Bastards. Um, mm-hmm. I love Django Unchained. Great movies. Fantastic films. <gasps> what was that? It was the ice. The ice in the cup literally, like, split in half and it, like, sprayed me in the face. I was like, whoa. That was actually terrifying. I was genuinely scared that the glass had shattered in my hand. Yeah. Um, oh, Chicago is good. Chicago is good. I do like that. Isn't that where all that jazz? Come on, babe. Why don't we paint the town in all that jazz? I could never be in that, though, because one, my figure, and two, my dancing skills. <laughs> She's got a bomb figure. Don't don't let her. No. <laughs> Sweet lol. They couldn't fit me in tights if they wanted to. Oh, favorite uh, '90s cartoon. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, ah. Y'all are going really. I mean, yeah, you guys are getting nostalgic. I- interesting yeah. questions. I thought you would get for some reason more like raunchy. I don't know. Um, Th- this is the most tame. I have seen I this chat. I told you they're tame with me. I think she's got a calming like presence, or she just kind of, you know, pulls you guys into the line. I don't know. Um, 90s cartoon. I don't know. I don't know. I... I mean, the thing was, was, like, Cartoon Network was awesome. Cartoon Network was great. And now it's it's no longer. Yeah, Cartoon Network. But I'm trying to think of my favorite. I mean, I, I, was, I was really young in the 90s, to be fair, so... When I was little, I was mainly watching, like, Rugrats and stuff. I would probably say Rocco's Modern Life. It's the one probably I watched more than anything else. But Hey Arnold was great. Doug was great. Um, Johnny Bravo. Oh, Johnny Bravo. Oh, Dexter's Lab. Yeah. Yeah, the classics. I do like those ones. Yeah, those were all on cartoons. We're talking about cartoons, not like animations or anything like like anime. We're not talking about that. That I barely got into anime when I was a kid. I actually didn't really get into anime until college. It's kind of weird. A couple people introduced me to it, then you're in. Anyways. Um, favorite TGIF show. What does that mean? For those of you that are just dropping in, sorry, I saw this comment real quick. I wanted to address it. Riley is allowing me to test a prototype aftershave. And I'm extremely excited because it smells bomb. And it's got this um, milky consistency. You guys know that one of the things that I look for in a lot of my aftershaves is that milky consistency because usually it lends itself to more be a skin food than your traditional aftershave splash, which just feels so much better on your skin, especially for someone like me. It's got a lot of dry skin. I'm saying all these things, and I'm going to find out that's not the case. But this smells fantastic, and that consistency usually lends itself to the ingredients in aftershaves that I really like. You like it? Yeah. It's 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 kind of a like a, a masculine kind. Well, of... it's a typical like axe smell. I don't, I don't really get axe out of that. Maybe. It's it's got this. It's kind of hard to it's, describe. Yeah. But it, it's... It's good. I'm it's, not saying... To me, I get a little bit something different out of that than, than like, Axe. But I can kind of see where she's coming from on that because they try to really up the man feel in the accent. So I, I kind of get that. Yeah, and they were asking about... I guess it was an 80s thing, the TGIF. I, they were saying... <clears throat> Thank God it's Friday? Well, I, I mean, I know that that's what it means. Thank God it's Friday. But, like, yeah, TGIF, t- Fridays. Um... But I guess they said it was uh, an 80s thing. I don't know. I don't know much about 80s like um, TV shows or movies, but I love 80s music. Oh my gosh, it's the best. Um, I remember going to, I love Styx. Styx is my favorite um, band. And I remember going to one of their concerts 
And by the way, they were still amazing. And as a singer, I know that sometimes singers' voices can go down as they get older. Just all that but, stress um, on those vocal cords. No, but they no, but they sing amazing. They sing amazing. Yeah. I mean, it was great. And I remember having to go into the the concert and showing my ID, and the guy was like, "Aren't you a little young to be here?" And like everyone was looking at me. Like, I shouldn't be there. But then I started singing along with every song, and they were like, oh, she's cool. She's all right. Right. She's got this. We listen to 80s music all the time up in this house. But also country. But anyway, <laughs> we are going to go ahead and move on to the next, next set. Yeah, so keep doing your questions. Close your we'll, eyes. We'll, we'll keep answering them. I'm glad that you are asking. And, yes, she does love Journey. Yeah, Journey. Journey's my second favorite. Um, okay, this one's interesting. Here's your hand. Um, this one kind of, it smells, it smells masculine, but it also smells very clean. It's like a mix between the axe and the soap together. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Interesting. Like not axe, in, 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 I'm talking about like a general smell, like the masculine typical smell that right. you smell. And then also like a soapy smell. So like a right. fresh, but also like a roughness. But I don't know what like scent notes those are. I would call it, um, I would call it uh, clean coal miner. Very interesting. I'm going to open your eyes. It's, it doesn't say on here, but this is barista and actually it does. Barista and Man Reserve Lavender. So this is a lavender-based yeah. scent. It's kind of interesting that you kept saying clean and yeah. and stuff like that. Because this is a very clean scent. This is a great scent if you're wanting to... Um, I like the smell of lavender just for multi-purpose use. But especially if you're a night shaver. Someone that likes to shave when you get home before you go to bed. That sort of thing. Make you seepy? Yes. Seepy, seepy. Lavender is perfect for that. And this is one of the best lavender scents that I've ever had the privilege of smelling. There was one that I smelled recently... Um, that I'll have to try to find and um, showcase on the page, on the channel, because it, it's absolutely fantastic. I can't remember which who the artisan was on it, but it's it's wonderful. Yeah, First Line Shave mentioned that they saw Sticks in concert and they didn't play Mr. Roboto. That's true. But I went to a specific concert where they were just doing songs from a certain album, so maybe you were going to... I, was, I went to the 1989 concert. I was not even born then, but that's the year you were born, right? Mm -hmm. But... Anyway, uh, so they were only doing songs from that album in that year, but um, so they didn't they don't, they didn't play that one. But um, I was still happy with what they played. Highland Springs, what's up? Glad to see you here in the chat. Um, I think <laughs> someone else. She really liked um, uh, Kootenai Bay, by the way, or Kootenai Blue. Excuse me, I keep wanting to say Kootenai Bay. I mean, I guess that's because it's what the actual bay is called, but. Kootenai Blue. My sis sure. asks favorite ice cream flavors. She knows what my favorite ice cream cream flavor is. Do you know what? Uh, Rocky Road? No, come on, you know. I, I Chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh, yes, chocolate chip cookie dough. You, you, just, that's, like, that's... you just like vanilla, right? I'm a plain Jane guy. When it yeah. comes to ice cream, I like vanilla milkshakes. I like chocolate milkshakes. I like... The twist cones you get at Brahms, which are the frozen yogurt. You like you know? the frozen yogurt. You like oh, the. Oh, yeah. so good. See, I, I like, like Froyo a lot. Yeah, see, you like the Froyo, which I think is fake ice cream. I'm calling it. Uh, and, well, okay, I'm talking about like the ice cream that you gotta like, you gotta like, ch you know, churn and you gotta like get it. Get Mikey's hard. falling in love with you. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Yes, chocolate chip cookie dough. Where are my people at? Oh my god. Tim is basic. It's the best. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen the the basic basic bro? You're a basic. I'm a basic. You're a basic bro, bro. not a basic bitch, but you're a right? basic bro. <laughs> I need to watch that video again. It's, it's hilarious on Comedy loves, Central. Yeah, he also loves Starbucks frappuccinos. I do. Which I mean, I do too. So I am a basic white girl as well. But right. Yeah. We're perfect for each other. Yeah. Vanilla is incredible. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Don't let anybody tear us down. Vanilla, chocolate, stick with the basics. I'm the same with pizza. Pepperoni pizza, I don't need extra toppings. Maybe some bacon. But I don't need all the extra stuff. I actually kind of like beef on there too. But I don't need like, you know, like peppers or onions or... No. 
pineapple That's craziness. not you being basic. That's you not wanting to eat vegetables. That is me knowing what I like. And what I like is pepperoni pizza. Okay, you want to try another one? All right. Let's try another one. Let's go. Let's get this done. Ooh, also, gelato is amazing as well. Yes, gelato is incredible. Okay. So, close your eyes. My I love know. biscuit. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. That was an interesting reaction. <laughs> Replay. I wish we could do that. It smells um, orange. Orange. It smells... I'll tell you what it smells like. It smells straight up like when you when you take an orange peel and you put it in your face. Like you, you squeeze it and the, the little... Whatever it's called. Acid or something. Whatever comes out. That's what it smells like. So it's not like an orange sweet smell. It's like an orange, like almost like a very, it's a very clean orange flavor smell. Interesting. Flavor. You can go ahead and open your eyes, guys. I'm going to show you what it is here first. Cedar citron. Oh, yes, yeah, oh. zest. Thank you. What would you name it? Zest. Oh, crap. Um, well, you have to do that before. I, I, um, I don't know. Um, I, uh, clean, uh, clean... Clean orange. Clean orange. You guys got know. it. <laughs> That's not a very good one. But it's cedar citron, which is actually a citrus orangey kind of oh, scent. Oh, okay. See, That's one of the reasons why bad. it was sent to me is because I really like orange. And it's it's basically, you've got cedar, you've got, I think, sandalwood, you've got orange. I related it to being like in a in a wood shop, freshly peeling open an orange. It's kind of what, it like, what I hearken this back to because it's, it's a very crisp, fresh scent with the orange. But you have those nice earthy tones of wood, of that cedar and that sandalwood. It's, it's fantastic. I absolutely love this set. And Mel, if you see this video, thank you so much. Anyways. Brittany said, orange, you glad I'm here. I That's that's what I should have called it. That's what she said I should have done. You, sometimes I'm just not as smart as she is, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> Literally, she's right. That's our last name. Okay. You know how many times I hear this? But, hun, I'm always right. And I'm like, you're right, but you're not right. It, 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 there's a difference. I don't so. know. Okay, we're doing another one? We are do oh, we're doing another one. Yes, don't look. Okay, well, I didn't see it. I was reading the comments. I love Canadian bacon. JB, man, I don't know if we can be buddies. I'm just kidding. I like bacon better. But Canadian bacon's okay, which is essentially just ham. Anyway, I'm going. Let's do this. Ooh, I like this one. It smells like an Andy's mint. Mmm, straight in Andy's mint after Olive Garden. Yes. I like it. This one's called, and so it's mint and chocolate. Um, I mean, that's straight what it is. So I would call it a uh, mountaintop uh, mint. Interesting. All right, guys. I didn't show you guys the label. That's the label. She got this for me for Christmas, and I got to open it up on uh, Christmas Eve. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, peppermint. Okay, so I got so I got the peppermint. You got the peppermint. You were there. It's perfect. Two it out of fifteen hundred. Not bad. Wait, do you have some more? No. Oh, you don't have any more. I can pull more if you guys. Do you guys want to see her guess more scents, or are we good on the scents? And you want to move on you to something just else? Do, you want to do questions? Yeah, we can open this up to just questions. It looks like the chat. Is mainly talking about pizza. Yeah. We're arguing over bacon. Well, there's a debate between crispy bacon, like your regular standard bacon, and Canadian bacon, which is just basically imposter bacon. It's ham. Well, why not? What I like Canadian <laughs> bacon. I like Canadian bacon, though I don't really go out of my way to get it. So if I go out of my way to get an ingredient, it's going to be bacon, straight up. But if Canadian bacon is on my pizza, I'm not going to, like, turn it down. Well, Britt said more sense, but, um, oh, Sarah said also said more sense. Who else said sense? Oh, she said it again. Oh, Highland Springs up said more sense. Sarah Soda said it. Okay, so uh, people want more, more of the sense. Real raw tasting. <laughs> <laughs> JB is weird. <laughs> Just while well, oh, we my grab God. a spoon and... We're making a bacon soap. I think there is a bacon soap. There has to be a bacon soap out there. I mean, come on. 
I can see someone making something with like maple and bacon. I can see that. Listen, I'm all about food. And I tell you what, you smell like a nice, like, like a nice food smell. I mean, you'll have a girl all over you. I mean, because, listen, girls, they say they're on diets, and they're like, mm, I'm, like, watching my figure. But, listen, they will go ham <laughs> on a bacon cheeseburger. Don't let them fool you. Holy cow. Or, I always say holy cow. Caw, caw. But it's actually I holy cow. Said, I thought you said something different than caw. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. But holy cow makes a bacon-centered soap, which is called, what was it? Baconal, baconalia, baconalia, pancakes. Oh man, DJ, you might need to go to IHOP, babe. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay, anyway, that sounds good. Next. And it hurt. Yeah, same. Next. Okay, Next. Next. gotta close your eyes. Okay, Just show them, show them, because you keep forgetting. Okay. Oh, don't touch me. Okay, you got your eyes closed. Yeah, they're closed. I mean, I'm honestly not cheating. I have my eyes completely closed. Do you have it open? <laughs> okay, hold on. This smells delightful. This smells very clean. I, maybe this one has lavender in it as well. This one, I don't know what the other scents are, but I would call it, um, I would call it a man, manly, manly bubble bath. Manly bubble bath. Yeah. All right, guys. Desert Heat by Ginger's oh. Garden. Funny story about this. No, so. you put on the aftershave, right? It's true. Yeah, the aftershave is the same. Is Let it? me smell it. Well, actually, no, I didn't because I didn't what, have the aftershave. What aftershave did you put on it, though? I put on unscented Thayer's Witch Hazel. Maybe that was the combo. Maybe. I smelled a combo. It doesn't have Because I didn't scent. like oak, please. It doesn't. It is scentless. Yeah, I, it didn't smell like that. She hated this. I when did. I first put it on, she actually told me to go wash it off and put something else on. So, I, I don't know. I maybe know. I did it's... combine this with something else, and maybe it wasn't theirs. I can't remember, but she loved it just now. I lo I like this. I like this. I'm not joking. I really like this. But whatever you put with it was not good. This smells good. I don't know what I did. I don't know what you, whatever combo you did. And just to answer you, JB, yes, these are my jammies. They are Hogwarts themed. So we got all the houses. They said the camera is too far to read that small shit. It's too far. It's too Boom. Far. Boom. It is It is a really small label. It doesn't even cover the whole circumference of the, of the thing. But it's kind of interesting because it's got a little top cap that you can actually pull up instead of like unscrew. And it actually works. So loading my brush, I've never had a problem with that. It's kind of it's interesting. We were thinking of an after the steak and beans for a fart scent. I think that's, I think that's good. <laughs> yeah, it definitely needs to be a, a, like a, like a carnal kind of smell of a fart, for sure. Get some legumes in there, that for sure. Very dry fart smell. All right, babe, you ready? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna do another one. Okay. Grizzly babe, what's up, buddy? Boba, Slytherin, am I right? Of course you're right. Hey, I'm a Slytherin, and I love I I'm a Mandalorian. They should guess what Hogwarts house I'm in. Yeah, guys, guess what house she's in. Here's the next scent. That smells good, too. Although I can't... I can't determine what smells that is, though. What it smells like. It, well, maybe marzipan. Yeah, marzipan. What would you name it? Um, I would name it German Sweetness because they have marzipan there. Interesting. German Sweetness. All right, you can open your eyes. It is Barrister Man pepper? Patches Shaving Soap. It's actually one of the soaps that I personally do not like. It's one of the few soaps I can't stand to wear. 
One of the reasons for that is it's just such a incredibly strong scent. And I get a big old heaping dose of strawberry and not in a good way on this soap. It's, it I is love, very sweet. Marzipan is sweet. Marzipan is sweet. So that's why I was actually really surprised when you were saying stuff like that. Because there is that definite sweet note in there. But it's not in a pleasant way like I feel like Chella is. Which it kind of balances out the sweetness with some smooth. Um, it's definitely that, that marzipan, that almond, that cherry. Um, but this one is just, it's, it's very, I think it's just that, that strawberry and that basil, which is just like, Bleh. it's intense. I, I don't think I have another soap that's quite that potent when I'm lathering it up. I mean, it's just very strong. Yeah. They said no strawberry and soap. Yeah. Which is a bummer. Cause I could take like a, uh, like a little thing of strawberries and mm -hmm. just sit there and sniff them all day long. Cause they smell fantastic. Yeah. I love fresh strawberries. They smell wonderful. I don't really like eating strawberries just because I hate the seeds. I'm picky that way. But I do love the smell of strawberries. So you could have like a pool full of strawberries. I'd swim through it. All right. Let me make sure. I'm not missing anything. We've had a lot of you guys dropping in on the chat over the course of this video. We've, I mean, for the past like, what, 20 minutes, we've had like yeah, so 13, 14. A lot of people agree with you with the strawberries and the soap. A lot of people, this is a really polarizing scent. I haven't really seen a lot of people that love this. Maybe one or two. I'd say the majority. I know Yoast is kind of along the same lines with me on this one. It is just potent. I love how they how they do everything on these. I like the labels that they put on there. Barista and Man, you know, the Excelsior base is one of my favorites. It's great. Um, Reserve Lavender, the Reserve base is really great. Um, but this is a little something different. Sort of a bit up. All right, babe. Another one? Close your eyes. Again, if anyone has more questions, feel free to ask. Do you have it open? I'm about to. Oh, okay. Did you show them? I did. So it sounds like it's an aftershave because you opened. That it is, my love. That it is. Hmm. This one smells, again, very, like clean and very fresh it feels it or it feel, feels um it smells very old school i don't know if that means anything but it smells just like what maybe your grandpa would wear after he shaved which is not a bad thing it just smells no. it's like a classic clean smell what is it open your eyes what would you name it oh i would call it um I would call it uh, fresh, uh, fresh, um, fresh cigars. Fresh cigars. 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 It is fine American blend. It's a barbershop type scent, oh, so it is okay, very yeah. classic. It is. This like is what I your mean. grandfather would wear. It, it doesn't smell like cigars. I'm just saying, like, it just reminds me of that yeah, time. Yeah, it, like, it, like, it's a very nostalgic kind of scent. I'd say yeah. this is the iconic barbershop set. This is the one I stand up all my 